Good morning, everyone. It is April 3rd. We are into this three days of our 30-day quarantine. Quite frankly, I think it's going to last longer than that. I think things uh, have not reached their peak yet, and so we're just all going to have to wrap our arms around that and do the best we can with it. So do you guys remember that expression? I do when I was younger. It's, uh, I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Who knew? Who knew one day we'd have a perfect opportunity for everyone in our life, even the ones we loved, to practice that. So I want to start out today by letting you know what word or what my focus of the day is. I pulled this out of my Beatitudes kit uh, cards. If you want to follow mine, great. If you are doing your own, that's super too. Let me know what your focus of the day is. My card I pulled this morning, excuse me, I'm going to put my glasses on is involved and it says be actively connected in the world perfect i love it so what i what my thinking is today is that one thing we can do today no matter where you are get your sticky note pads out and just write thank you on them and put them on your trash buckets that the trash guy is going to come by and pick up and Put them on the mailbox where you get your mail. Let the postman know that you really appreciate what they're doing. Put them on your door for the delivery people to see. Um, I was reading something the other day where this gal, she is delivering food and she took the position because she was laid off. She's a CPA. She was laid off from her work. So she, in order to make ends meet, she has taken on a delivery service job. And so those, there's a lot of people out there in addition to our front line, and we want to continue to keep them in our thoughts and prayers that are doing courageous things to help make our lives a little bit easier. And so I want you to, you know, leave somebody a little note, give them a little high five, air high five via a post-it note today. I think, uh, I think the other thing it's important for us to remember is, and I, I, I learned this growing up on the farm, and I'm so glad that I had that opportunity as a young child to be raised on a farm. We had seasons, and the seasons really, I had a clear understanding of those at a very young age. And the spring is when we would do all of our planting, and then in the summer we would harvest our wheat crops, and, and then we would get ready for the winter. And in preparing for winter, you would start to stockpile some food for your cattle and make sure your freezer had plenty of food in it. And, Make sure your generator, if you had one, was all ready to go. And it uh, occurs to me that we are metaphorically in winter. And many of us did not prepare correctly, um, metaphorically. We didn't have a winter coat. So it's also a beautiful opportunity for you as you're sitting at home in quarantine to thoughtfully sit down and make a list of not only what you're learning about yourself and others through this, but also how you could better prepare for the next winter that comes around, because there will be one. I hope it won't be to this magnitude and this global, but there's going to be other hard times in your life. And I think it, it warrants some reflection on how you can be best prepared for that. So take some time to do that. I think it'd be a, a great exercise to go through. The other thing I really want you guys to practice. Use this time to do the things that you've always said in the past, as short as two and three weeks ago. I just don't have time for that. Whatever you've said that about in your life, now's the time to do all those things and call all those people and read all those books, whatever it was that you declared you didn't have time for it. Now you have plenty of time. Stay in the game. Get up every day, make your bed, take a shower. Ladies, put your makeup on. Men, shave if you're shaving. If you're not, groom your beard. Keep a very productive routine going. And if you're homeschooling your kids, you're heroes, you're essential. They, they've said only essential people can go out to the world. You are essential. You're teaching your children very important things about life and in addition to keeping up with their schoolwork. And uh, I think this is a great opportunity for you to keep them in a routine as well. So today, go out there, say thank you. Get your sticky notes out. 
thank the folks that are out there doing things to serve you so you can continue to follow the regulations and the suggestions that we are all being asked to do so we can uh, get past this. I think they're going to start suggesting that we all wear masks if we go out to shopping um, centers and those kinds of things, food to get food. Be creative, because you guys, the, the real heavy duty masks, you don't need those. Those need to be left for our frontline doctors, nurses, EMTs, firefighters, etc. Get hankies out, get a funky scarf, go cut up a old shirt that you no longer wear and sew a face mask together. Get creative with that. But I think it's it's a good idea as you, as you go out into public to just do the basics, get your uh, face mask on, keep doing the distancing. The sooner we all jump on board with this, the sooner this thing's gonna pass. All right, so you guys go out there, make it a kick-ass day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow, probably from Painted Sky Ranch. Take care, bye-bye.